like Ventura TV Appliance on Facebook, it's nice. But when you love the Samsung big screen we deliver, it's even better. Our website is cool, and it's a good place to start. But you really should touch the merchandise before you buy. Time for that upgrade to an HD 3D web-enabled Samsung TV. Get the best selection, price, and service in town without waiting. Come in to Ventura TV Appliance and touch the merchandise today. Hi, I'm John Mattles. Welcome to this live edition at Connect With Me on the showroom floor at Ventura TV on this day. It's on the air, off the press, presses. You'll recognize the voices, not the faces. We are here with two people from Mega 97.9. You will recognize them once they start speaking. 436, Me TV, option 11, do call in. Hey, my friends, do turn down the sound when you call in as well. Back with our program in just a moment. <laughs> First time guest here on Connect With Me on MeTV Fresno, Comcast Channel 187 and 43.6. Of course, the telephone number is, as always, 436 MeTV Option 11. And as I always say, turn down the sound or we can't get you on the air. So today, first time guest from Mega 97.9. You listen to him each and every morning, 6 to 9 o'clock on Mega 97.9. But let me ask you something. Do you recognize their faces or do you recognize the voices? Each and every morning they come into your radio. However, um, you know, they're not, they're not on television that much. Anyway, you know, last Friday we sent a crew over. Well, they're not on television at all. They're on radio. <laughs> what am I talking about? Last Friday we sent a crew over to videotape part of their show. And we're going to show that right now. And they talked about the top ten list on the do not do list when you go out on a first date. Here's what it sounded like. I have a list for you here. It is the top 10 dating turnoffs, <laughs> offs for women. So these are the things you okay. do not want to do. Can you even guess? Okay, get your, get your notes out there, sir. Take your notes, Ronnie. I'm going to start with number 10, and we'll okay. work our way up to the worst one. Right. Number 10, coming across as needy on a date is like a turnoff for a woman. Can you find me in here? Number nine. <laughs> Texting while on the date because that shows yeah. a, a real lack of interest. Wait, yeah, I'll see what the score is on the link. Yeah, Number eight. Yeah. <laughs> That's not texting. No. <laughs> this okay. can't be avoided, but awkward silences yeah. is also a turn off. Yeah. Talking about your ex. Oh, oh yeah. That's a bad one. one. No. You've got six. plenty of those, Ronnie. Stop it right now. Six. I don't know what you're talking about. Hogging okay. the conversation, not letting the woman get a word in edgewise. That is a big turn off on a date. Yeah, you do that to Ruthie all the time. <laughs> Just got the emails to prove. <laughs> Number five, Ruthie! coming across like you're not interested. Number four, we've heard this one before, being rude to a bartender or waiter because that shows the person that you're dating that you are not a nice person. Hey, I don't taste any alcohol in this drink. Number three, looking at other women. We're entering dangerous territory. Mina, yeah. Mina, what are the eyes for? Number two. What are the eyes? We've got some dangerous characters right here in the studio today. Naughty Roddy on your left, and of course, Jeff Davis of Mega 97.9. They're on 6 to 9 in the morning on your radio dial, not television. Now you know the faces. They're not on TV all that often, but they are here today on Connect With Me, and you can call in at 436 Me TV Option 11. And by the way, <coughs> there you go. Put those go. on. Much See that? John. Yes. See that? I'm going to take a three shot. Look at that. The Blues Brothers, right? Yeah. Take that three men shot. Men in black. You like that? Men in black. Black. Men in black. That's right. Three men in black. <laughs> All right. We're going to be back with our show here on Connect With Me, Comcast 187, 43.6 with Naughty Roddy and Jeff Davis of Mega 97.9 uh, with your phone calls, too. Back in a moment. Remember me? After practicing law, Raymond Burr fought crime. You have the right to an attorney. As a hard-boiled detective on wheels. Ain't it the truth? His name is Ironside. Perhaps you wouldn't mind saying it again. His name is Ironside. All right, now you've said it. Nothing slows him down. I want to see this one firsthand. 
Now on MeTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Uh, what are we waiting for? Are we doing the whole show like this? I yes. hope the so. whole yeah. show? I think so. Not hey, Good Why to see you, my good friend. Good to see you, John. Jeff uh -huh. Davis. Thanks for having us. Hey, well, thanks for coming in, guys. So I might as well, we might as well just wear the shades the whole the whole show, right? <laughs> oh my! Why not? Hey, tell me about your show. What's your show about? What's the format like? We have I'm a little bit of fun. We uh, what we do is we go on the radio and we just say stupid stuff. No, actually, we play some <laughs> we play some great music. You yeah, know, we the, talk like this so people will know us when we go out. The Valley's old school is what we play. You've heard it. Yeah, I've heard the radio. Of course, songs. I have in my car. Sure. And you know, I mean, if if you tune into uh, the Mega Morning show at any given moment you'll you'll get information you'll get the time you'll get the weather and you'll get uh, some like what Ruth we're, was talking about we're Things kind of like you guys because we have a cough button here see mm. we got the cough button Can don't push it, it. No. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> a phone call good morning you're on connect with me what's your question um i'm calling because i've seen the phone number on the television and I see three very good-looking men. Ooh, yeah. thank you. I'd like to just tell them all hello. What's your name? <laughs> My name is Linda Fortune. Are you Linda. are you single? <laughs> I'm just kidding. No, I'm, I'm not. Single one in the trio. Not, not at this time. <laughs> well, Roddy's not necessarily single. He's got a harem. <laughs> <You're not> gonna, <laughs> I don't listen to the man behind the green curtain. <laughs> What's your question? Can the guys wave to me? Sure. Hello. Why not? Over there. What's your guy sign, baby? <laughs> hey, good looking. <laughs> Have you got a question? Not really. <laughs> Not really. You just want to call in and be a part of the program, right? I just right? wanted to call. Oh, they're waving. Hey, good looking. <laughs> Roddy, <laughs> Roddy, <laughs> and... Yeah, right. Jeff, 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 Jeff Davis. Jeff Davis. Who's the other guy? Yeah. Jeff Davis. The other guy. <laughs> I'm the other okay. guy. He's my boss. Hi, Jeff. Hi, Roddy. Rowdy. How are you? Rowdy, no, it's Roddy. 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 Okay. okay. There you go. Oh my goodness! I, I'm a little bit disabled and hard of hearing, and oh, okay. But I enjoy watching TV daily. All right. Well, they're on Mega ninety seven nine each and every morning, uh, six to nine. Uh huh. So okay. you can listen to the morning show and then turn on John Malos at ten ten thirty. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Hey, thanks for calling in. Thanks for being. Hey, by the way, is that your real name? Yes, it is. Are you sick? Can I? I want to see your driver's license. Oh, Where's your driver's it license? It's, it's, is, that, is that your real it's name? It's Hubert. He can do a Rodney Dangerfield. Do your Rodney Dangerfield. No, 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 I'll never do it. Is that your real name, Jeff Davis? Uh, David is my middle name. I'm not going to say what my real last name is. So. Okay. All right. So it's kind of a kind of a stage name, a little yes. bit. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So you play the. So how much t talk time do you guys have in the morning? Uh, in between songs. <laughs> between songs, I mean, we'll talk for three or four minutes at a mm -hmm. time, you know, if it's, it's something topical, something going ar on around the valley, um, or we'll talk about entertainment news, local news, and then, of course, we do a lot of contesting, too. For instance, this week, we're giving away tickets to our big concert, which is coming Friday. up on Friday you don't at Wilbur Park, it. Cinco de Mega. With Marlo, Jorge Santana. With Tierra. Marlo. See, I have to roll the R's for him. Yeah, I know. The I cannot do it. Tierra. Very nice. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, Little Willie J G and the Midnighters mm -hmm. will be there. It's going to be a Batan, great line. Sonia Osuna and more. Tortilla Soup. Soup. A great band opening up and uh, tickets available at Radio City Palm and Shaw. So and of course, you're going to be there, John. I, I am? Yeah. You, <laughs> yeah. You're a buddy. You're going to hang with us. we got some cops for you. Come <laughs> yeah. on. Backstage. I don't, I don't know. know if you're going to want to hang with us backstage, <laughs> I mean, buddy. <laughs> I may or may not. I don't know yet. I don't know. So so you guys work with Ruth Michaels. And yes. she was here. Uh, I had Ruth on here about a month ago. Really? Okay. Here. About a month ago. Yeah. She's a nice lady. Yeah. Nice Very lady. Nice. So you guys have been together 15. 15 years. years. Are you guys just show. tired of each other already? Yes. Or what? Yeah. <laughs> that was after the first week. So what are you trying to <laughs> say, buddy? <laughs> no. No, Obviously, it works. No, we're, it all, works. we're all friends and it we works. have a great time. Yeah. We come in, we turn the mic on, we laugh. Spontaneous. And you should maybe. actually hear what we say when we don't have yeah, a Yeah, I was going to say, John, you don't want to hear us with the mics the on. The FCC would bust mm. us big time. Yeah, so. yeah, interesting, interesting. So what makes it work? Why are you guys good? Why do you guys... We're good. Uh, <laughs> why you, why do people listen? Why is this why has this thing worked for 15 years? Well, it's a combination of playing some great music. The old school right. that we play is really part of the but valley. Anybody, and, hey, I could go yeah. in there and hit a button and play music, right. but, but it's the personality, you know, it, it's it's a blend of my picoso personality, <laughs> my chile personality with Jeff's personality <laughs> and then a mixture of Ruth 
and it all blends in together. There, and, there's uh, also spontaneous. There's also several of the radio stations in the market. I won't mention them, but yeah. uh, they're syndicated formats, syndicated yeah. morning shows. We're local. We talk about local things happening in the valley. We do a lot of concerts. We do we do a lot of appearances. Roddy's out at uh, Bobby Salazar's on Thursdays right now, and on Sundays or over at Yosemite, Yosemite Falls, Falls, and we just. You know, we mix and mingle. I love going out. We shake hands, we kiss babies, we have a good time. We oh. live the dream. You just turn that off. By I'm the way. sorry. Don't turn that off. That's yeah. the cough button. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just noticed that. Can you could you hear him? He's loud. You can okay. hear him anyway. I'm good. You're good now. Yeah. You're good to go. So, okay, uh, who's the straight guy? Is it Ruth? Uh well no, She's Ruth kind of keeps the straight. us in check. I Ruth am. gets the ruler out. No, I'm the I'm innocent the one. Guy. No, we, uh, we kind of make fun I'm of I'm the you good a guy. Bit, no, but yeah, but you joke around do. more than I do. Who's I'm the nervous. traffic cop? Is it Ruth Michael? Yeah, that's Ruth. Yeah, that's really. Ruth. She has the ruler. Yeah. yeah, she's got the ruler. Mm. Oh, my goodness. Anyway, yeah. we're talking with Naughty Roddy. Oh, we have a minute left? Okay. So, um, uh, you guys have been together now 15 years. 15 where years. were you before, and where were you before? I, I, Jeff has been in radio longer than I have, but You've I met been in Jeff. in 20 years. Uh, yeah. Since or more. 19, or more. Uh, more than that. 1988, I met Jeff Davis at another local radio station. Where Power we 102. Were. Power 102. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we worked well, at before that was B95. B95. But, you know, that's and then right. I worked on KFIG. Yeah. And uh, here I am, my full, first full-time gig. And uh -huh. make a ninety-seven nine. I you, love it. I yeah. love it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> fifteen years, yeah, man. I guess you do. I guess well, you do. It's because you can't find another job. <laughs> I can't. You, you've been so. sending resumes out. You can't. You can't Burger get a bite. King. Huh? Burger no King. bites. He got no fired bite. from Burger King. You know that? <laughs> I know he's gonna <laughs> Burger King. And he also worked at. That's a KFC. not a true story, yeah, is it? Yes. Yeah. You got fired for what? I can't. Not washing your hands. No, no. <laughs> I, I was always clean. He Trust me, I, I stole a cheeseburger. <laughs> you stole a cheeseburger. All oh, right, we're man. talking with Naughty Roddy and Jeff Davis of Mega 97.9. We've all got the shades on today. 436 Me TV Option Oven if you want to call in and have some fun. Do turn down the sound. We're back with our program in a moment. When you're looking for KitchenAid innovation and quality, who has the answers, the selection, the price? Ventura TV Appliance. With billions in nationwide appliance buying power, more than Home Depot and Best Buy combined will help you save. Our low prices on Energy Star qualified KitchenAid appliances save you energy and money and pay no interest on select models when paid in full within 12 months. Ventura TV Appliance, serving you since 1951. Another piece of video from Mega 97.9. Uh, we're talking about uh, Naughty Roddy and Jeff Davis. Say, hey, looking for love in all the wrong places. They were talking about this on the radio on Friday, and here it is. I'm sure you have been through this too. 8:37. Hey, we got a little bit of rain coming. We got some rain, uh, a little bit. Okay, just a well, sprinkle or two. A sprinkle or two. Mm -hmm. So, uh, make it a point to come on out to Vintage Days. We kick it off today. Ruthie is going to be up. At 11 o'clock. They're going to be able to move. It's signing folks up for Cinco de Mega tickets. Yeah. So make sure you head on out there. It's always a lot of fun. It's the 40th anniversary of the event. And no pets allowed. So we can't bring you. <laughs> I know. Right I'll leave Roddy out. <laughs> All right. Okay. All right. Not but right now. Okay. We'll see you out there. It's not, you know, not a lot of rain coming in. And uh, by the way, it's going to clear off for the rest of the weekend, so you can make it a yes. point to head on out to Vintage Days, uh, Boomtown Carnival. Mm -hmm. Free parking, free admission. All right. Yeah. Sounds yeah. good. Yeah. Good times. Wow. Wow. A lot, of, uh, a lot of people will be going out and uh, maybe attempting a date or trying to find a date or, uh, you know, looking to hook up with Roddy? somebody. So I have some advice for you. You were looking last night. Roddy? Right? On, in all the wrong places. <laughs> so, so Ruth Michaels is happily married. Yes, I just happen to know that. Happily she was married here because you had her on the show. Because oh, I had her on the show. She yeah. said that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. No, I believe you. Happily Whatever she said. Yeah. Okay. Her husband might be watching. I know. She's hey, Doug. Husband. What's up, buddy? <laughs> <laughs> So how does she respond to you guys in your uh, your jokes sometimes? It took her a few you're single. years. Yes, yes. A few uh, years. Are you That's single? Absurd. Are you single? No, no. I've got my wife Jenny is watching right now. Hi, Jenny. Oh, okay. Are you happily married? married, Jeff? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Right. okay. So how does Ruth, a married woman, how does she respond? And, to you guys? And she was a little reserved at first. And oh, we, we kind of got time. her to open up a little bit over the years. Really? You know, really? we kind of taken out. back. You know, we took her to. Uh, never mind. I won't say where we took her. Oh. <laughs> 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 We can't say that on the air. <laughs> it was, you know, it was an experience. She had fun, though. Yeah. She did? Well, mm -hmm. 
newer yeah. series, but yeah. Um, so then she so, got used to you guys, and oh, she's yeah. used to you guys now. Yeah. yeah, yeah. She knows how to react to what mm-hmm. we do sometimes uh, when the mics are off, and you know we don't get crazy or lewd or no, anything, but no, we no, like no. To, we just like to joke around a lot. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Do a lot of practical so what, jokes. So what makes on a serious topic? What makes morning radio work? What do you have to have? Connecting with the listener is really important. In Number one. Again, yeah. Is being local and talking to you, listener, getting them on the phone, doing contests, giving away stuff that they want to win. And so you have phone work. calls like we yes. do? Oh, yeah. Absolutely, yeah. <laughs> All the time. Yeah. They That's what them. makes it work, huh? That's right. Connecting with the listener. Yes. Yes. And yeah. how do you do that? Being friends with them. Well, it's you know, again, it's being local. It's talking about stuff that they want to hear. It's talking about the artists that we play. Events that we're going to have, upcoming events, uh, where we're at for the weekend, during the week. Things that matter to yeah. them. Yeah. You talk Not about that matter to us, even though we do like to talk about stuff that matters to you us. You talk about the artists. You have to know a little bit about the oh, artists. Oh, yeah. Right? yeah. You have to know them. Yeah. Right? Absolutely. You have to. Mm-hmm. And so to talk about them, you got to know what's going on in their lives. You keep up with the latest in Hollywood and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. See, Absolutely. I don't do that. Uh, I don't. I kind of don't care what's going on in Hollywood. But, <laughs> no, really. But what do you guys think of this Donald Sterling thing? Oh, oh like the man. man. Owner. That, that is, is huge right now. He should step down. He should sell the team today. That's it. I, I, I think that's the best thing he can do. That's the latest. Night. That's yeah. the hot topic today. It is. Oh, yeah. It's all over. Hey, wow. we got a phone call coming in. Good morning. You're on uh, Connect with me. Or this Is this Mega 97.9? Mega 97.9. Hi, first, I want to say that this past Megan Love Jam concert was off the chain. Okay, oh, you like it? Oh, right on. Yes, that was awesome. Um, I'm only 33 years old, but my husband is like in his 50s. So, I mean, that's not why I like um, old school music. You like I older men. Funny. Yeah. <laughs> well, I like, oh, oh, yeah, well, I've been married 30. to him for four years. So, hey. Oh. But um, wow. I do have a question um, concerning the concert. How do you guys coordinate concerts like what how do you like how do you get in contact with all the older groups we uh we work uh, we work closely with a concert promoter out of uh, los angeles the pacific concert group and alan beck Uh, number one uh, he's number one he's great he you know he he does actually he put together cinco de mega coming up uh also and um it's we it's a partnership that we do and it's really cool because he's also, he does a special show on our station on Sunday nights from 6 to 10 called the Underground Oldie Show, where he goes deep into the oldies, plays some stuff that we don't normally play. So he's really, yeah. really into that, and he's really connected to a lot of the artists that we bring to town. So that's how you connect oh, cool. with all these other group with these groups? Yes. No, all, the, all the concerts. Alan Beck. And all. Alan Beck. Yeah. Okay, any other questions? Um, no, that was it. I just wanted to tell them that it was awesome this year, and I hope that next year is just as awesome. Well, right. we're glad you came, and we hope you come next year, too. Hey, we'll see you Friday. We'll be giving concert. away tickets in December for that one. But, uh, right. hey, this coming Friday, come on out to Woodward Park for Cinco de Mega. Cool. Sounds good. Thank you. Hey, hey, thanks for calling. Thanks for calling. All right. Okay, we're talking with Dottie Roddy and Jeff Davis here at Mega 97.9. Sure. So this <laughs> this this Donald Sterling. Oh, I gotta, yeah, you know, yeah. I, I want to play. I want to play a soundbite. Let, let's roll it. You can okay. hear what he had to say to his girlfriend. Honey, I'm sorry. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I wish I could tell you that I love you. I'm sorry too. I don't do anything wrong. Nobody said you did anything wrong. I don't do anything wrong. If we ever have any issues, it's because people call you and tell you things about me that are not true. Why are you broadcasting? I'm not broadcasting anything. pictures with minorities? Why? What's wrong with minorities? What's wrong with black people? Nothing, nothing, nothing. What's wrong with these families? It's like talking to an enemy. I, I, there's nothing wrong with minority. They're fabulous. Fabulous. Because you're an enemy to me. Why? Because you don't understand. I don't understand what? Nothing. nothing. That racism still is a lie? No, but there's a culture. What is people culture? steal certain things. Hispanics steal certain things towards blacks. Blacks steal certain things towards other groups. It, it's been that way historically, and it will always be that way. 
All right, Donald Sterling, the what owner oh, man. of the L.A. Clippers, yeah, talking like to drunk, his too. yeah, talking <laughs> to his girlfriend. Yeah. She mm -hmm. obviously tape recorded the right. conversation. Yeah. He didn't know. Yeah, and he didn't know. Right. So, what do you make of the comments? That guy, he's like uh, next to Pluto. He is way out there. But uh, I don't know. I, I I'm at a loss for words. When I first heard about this story, yeah. I was at a loss for words. He sounds like one angry man to me, and he's uh, he's definitely a racist. Well, you can tell he's a big yeah, and he absolutely. shouldn't be owning yeah. that team. He no, shouldn't be owning any team. You shouldn't no. be doing anything. He's a step, loser. Step do you down. penalize an owner, though? You make him sell the team? How can you make him sell the That's team? True. That's true. I don't the NBA, well, National Basketball Association. It's an association. Make them do it. Sell the team. Yeah. I'm with you on that. The league is 70%. African American, right. correct, right? Mm -hmm. So what's he even doing in the business? Yeah. So why is he on a team? Get out! Now? Like Magic said, what's he on a team for? Yeah, though? you know, it doesn't make so. any sense. The guy is definitely a loser, and uh, I'm sure we won't be hearing from him much longer. No. Yeah. Naughty Roddy, Jeff Davis, the guest here on Connect with me. We're all wearing shades today, and uh, you could be cool too by calling in four three six me TV option eleven. Back in just a moment. One Adam 12, one Adam 12. This is Adam 12. It stars Martin Milner as Officer Pete Malloy, Kent McCord as Officer Jim Reed. One Adam 12, Roger. This black and white patrol car has an overhead valve V8 engine. It develops 325 horsepower at 4,800 RPM. It accelerates from zero to 60 in seven seconds. It has a top speed of 120 miles an hour. The automobile has two shotgun racks, one attached to the bottom portion of the front seat, one in the vehicle trunk. You want me to drive? Now on BTV Fresno, Xfinity 187. Do you know that I'm mixed? No, I don't know. You know that I'm mixed. You told me you were going to remove those. You said, yes, I understand you. I mean, you change from day to day. Wow. So painful. Wow. People call you and tell you that I have black people on my Instagram, and it bothers you. Yeah, it bothers me a lot that you want to broadcast that you're associating with black people. You don't have to. You associate with black people. I'm not you and you're not me. You're supposed to be a delicate white or a delicate Latina girl. I'm a mixed girl. Okay. Well, but we And don't... you're in love with me. And I'm black and Mexican, whether you like it or not, okay. whether the world accepts it or not. You're not even a Clippers I can't, fan. Uh, yeah, yeah. Clippers <laughs> fans aren't even Clippers fans oh, anymore. Man. Yeah, yeah. You're not a Cl you're not even an no. NBA fan, are you? Yes, I am. Oh, you are. Big What's your team? Houston Rockets. Houston Rockets. And you? Mm -hmm. Um, I like the Lakers. <laughs> I like the I, I like the Sacramento Kings. That's yeah. my hometown. Yeah, Sacramento. Yeah. That's right. That's right. Uh, I'm trying to get to Capitol Hill. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just a bill. So Donald Sterling, um, oh, the owner know. of the Clippers, um, you know, he's going to, they're holding a news conference tomorrow, the NBA. Mm -hmm. I don't know what they're going to do. They said they're going to move quickly. I know that. We were, talking, we, so. we were talking about that this morning on the Mega Morning Show. Yeah. So what they can do, so. suspend him. Oh, I have to watch the games on TV now. I can't go to my own games. Big can deal. Can you actually sanction the team, maybe? Or I guess you I know, don't that know. Be fair I mean, to the players. Yeah, exactly. That's yeah. not fair to the players, but yeah. oust them out of the NBA. Uh, you mentioned something. Have them sell the team. Sell the team. Sell the team. Yeah. Just sell the team. Yeah. Force them out. I don't know. Another phone call here. Okay, good morning. You're on Connect With Me. Your question, please. Uh, there's got to be some way to censure that Sterling for crying out loud. You would think that in this day and age, that racism, especially in professional sports, would be an acronym. It's shocking to find that uh, it still exists and is still active. So that's not my question. That was my comment. My question, um, I had the pleasure to go to Vintage Days. This is the 40th edition of the Vintage Days. Uh, I wonder if the boys there, uh, Jeff and uh, Roddy, had uh, uh, kind of get the feedback. Do they think the uh, crowd was off was because of the weather? You think it's a uh, it's a bygone notion that uh, uh, vintage days may be uh, uh, not what it once was. Do you think that? Uh, well, uh, I, I think vintage days is, is different. I mean, back in the day, it used to be more of a big party, uh, and it's you know it's more of a family event. Family now. oriented. Um, now. The Boomtown yeah. Carnival. I was there all three days. I'm sure the rain might have. Usually on Fridays. Well, it rained Friday, have Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, in the, in the morning. The cloud was but down. It actually cleared off when I was broadcasting out there in the afternoon. It wasn't really raining at all. It was off a little bit. Most of the college students, actually, are the ones that go on Friday. I was there Saturday as well as Sunday, and especially Sunday was jam-packed. Saturday was a really good crowd, too, so 
I don't really see much of a difference between the previous years and this year for Vintage Days. It's a family event. Everyone likes to go out. It's free parking, you know, free admission. Go out, check it out, have some So it's still the it. event at the oh, yeah. so I also I like the, it. The thing is the Clovis Rodeo, this, this year the Coincided. Clovis Rodeo and Vintage Days coincided. Normally yeah. they're separate. So that might have affected Vintage Days a little bit. Yeah, probably did. Yeah. Probably did. No question about it. Hey, let's play another mm -hmm. videotape, another piece of video from Naughty Roddy and Jeff Davis at Mega 97.9, 6 to 9 a.m. on your radio dial. Here's down. This is one electrifying night you won't want to miss. Three Doors Down, May 30th, 8 p.m. Tickets on sale now at Table Mountain Casino or tmcasino.com. Bullard Avenue at the uh, State Route 40, northbound 41 off-ramp. you got a traffic hazard working there. And that's about it. So great morning commute. All the freeways and roadways looking good. The new Flatiza from Subway, crispy flatbread, uh, topped with marinara sauce, melty mozzarella, and made the way you say. Choose from the classics like pepperoni or veggie. Hurry in, the two for five dollar inductory price ends soon. Subway, eat fresh. That's right now, traffic. Morning show, Jeff, Lucy, and oh yeah, I almost forgot. Roddy, and I'll say everything. What's up, guys? Hey, I think he's on the way. All right. I know. Yeah, I want yeah. to flip these. You guys are hungry? You guys are hungry? Yeah. Uh, listen, I, how have you guys survived the ownership over there? You you went through CBS. That yes, was first. That's and correct. Peak. Peak broadcasting. Cumulus. The cumulus. The cumulus. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you guys survive well, that? Cumulus, I mean, well, because we're a successful radio station. Why Correct. not with a good thing? Yeah. Uh, first off, you know, and... Great boss. I, you know. <laughs> when I'm hungover and I call in saying, Mira, it doesn't give me a bad time. <laughs> right. I'm just kidding, I mean, I was kidding. It is quite a culture shock, though, to go from corporate to locally owned by Todd Lawley and Peak Broadcasting and then yeah. back to corporate. Cumulus is actually bigger than CBS Radio. Uh, Huge. We own over 500 radio stations, so we're kind of right. off the radar now. But we they don't do, mess with you. Yeah, right? they don't mess with you. Well, you got the ratings. That's right. Got right? the ratings. You got the ratings. Yeah, right. Where are the ratings right now? Uh, we you know, are in the fall of uh, of this year. Or last year. We were last number year. one. Yeah. Yeah, number one. Last year, we were number one uh, with adults 25, 54, and overall, even with teens mixed in, we we're like number two. Um, and then this most recent ratings period that just came out, we're still in the top three or four. Uh, in fact, in the, on the morning show, we were number one with women. Right. Show. We were number one with women. <laughs> Just get it out. Adults twenty five. Single. Single. I am yeah. single. That's okay. phone number. Ready to mingle. Oh, no. <laughs> no. It's, it's all good. <laughs> so that's why they don't mess with you. Exactly. They're really happy with what we do, and we make yeah. some money for, make a couple of couple of bucks for them, and um, and we have a good time on the radio. That's what it's all about. If, you know, I get up in the morning, and if I didn't want to come in and do the morning show with this guy, and show you right, show you right, so, guys, <laughs> out of time. Don't want to get cut off. It's John. Long. John <laughs> it's so much. Pleasure. Thanks for hey, having thank us. You. Hey, thank you. Thank you. Guys, come back too. Hey, play yeah, Lost in Space. On I know. Let's uh, watch it's some Lost in Space. Seven days at midnight. Move it up at least. I'm always asleep by midnight. So Ruth Michaels, I said hi. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Come back again. All right. Naughty Roddy and Jeff Davis here on. Connect with me, Me TV Fresno, back again with another program here on Me TV Tomorrow. Have a great day. of history and the untamed prairies of a young nation comes one of television's and America's most memorable folk heroes. Was a man, just a big man. Well, you're Daniel Boone. Yep. Fast Parker stars as the legendary Daniel Boone with Ed Ames as his trusty sidekick, Mingo. Pleasure indeed. A Kentuckian named Daniel Boone. That's me. Watch Daniel Boone weekday mornings at 9, 8 central on MeTV. Frigidaire. It means the first electric refrigerator. The first room air conditioner. The first compact electric range. It means a history of innovations that give you the best results. And make your home life better. 
And now we introduce our latest innovation in cooking, the Frigidaire Gallery Range with Symmetry Double Ovens. It's designed to cook multiple dishes at multiple temperatures so you can prepare the entire meal at the same time. And our latest innovation in cleaning, the Frigidaire Orbit Clean Dishwasher. Its unique wash arm gives you four times more water coverage for a consistently better clean. Frigidaire, over 90 years of legendary innovation.